This tutorial is about how to work with Intelligent Analysis module in DSS Pro 8.1. So go to Intelligent Analysis module on your desk. Over here you can see a couple of sections, people counting, heat map and indoor analytics. In people counting you can see two kinds of data. First of them is the store data. So you got some real-time information about how many people enter the store, how many people exit the store and how many people are in the store at the moment. Then we have historical count. In historical count you can select one or multiple stores to display the data. While talking about the history we can of course do history for specific day or we can do weekly reports right or monthly reports for a specific store so we can see how many people enter the store on a specific date as I said you can do it for one or multiple stores at the same time so you can also compare the stores between each other you can choose what kind of chart you like what kind of graph you like or if you would like to display just the data of course all those data can be exported you can export the historical count data in a zip file. What will be in the zip file? There will be Excel file with the tables and also the chart with the data. So you will have two files in your export. If you don't have the stores created, you can also get the people counting data by the resources. So by the cameras, which supports people counting. Over here, you can select one or multiple cameras which supports people counting data and you can see exactly the same data as we seen before. So there are several ways how to get those data. Also over here you got options for daily, weekly, monthly and so on. Of course you can move between the months. Second module is a heat map. In heat map you can select the camera or actually the source and click search. You can specify the date for which you would like to see the information on the heat map. So for example for today from our parking lot. Over here you can see which area were most occupied and which were occupied less. The much better module than this is indoor analytics area. Because this module doesn't say anything about how many people pass over here, how, many, how much time do they spend and so on. So you can choose and use also indoor analytics module. While talking about this indoor analytic, mo analytic module, you can select again one or multiple cameras for the data. For example, I will select all of my cameras and I would like to see how many people visit my store today or my areas today and see how much time do they spend over there. For example, I can see at 11 o'clock more than 14 people were in my store and they stay no less than 5 seconds. So they were in a specified area for longer time than 5 seconds. This module gives you also options to change the filter. Let's say you are in the store and you would like to see if the customer were really interested in the goods, you can change the filter from 5 seconds into 30 seconds and hit the search again. Over here you can see how many people stay longer than 30 seconds and how many people stay longer than 30 seconds. So you got those data over here. So five people stay longer than 30 seconds at 11 o'clock. I can change this filter again of course and hit search again. So now I see that only two people stay over there for longer than 60 seconds. Also over here you can do some weekly statistics of course you can do some monthly statistics. You can change the filter anytime you want based on your requirements. And you can, of course, change the months, for example, for April. And you got different data. Again, all those data can be exported. If you wish to receive the automatic reports from people counting, please ask your administrator to set it up for you. We have a couple of options over here. Schedule reporting, and you can have the daily report, 
weekly report or monthly report from your people counting data. So ask your administrator whether you would like to have daily, weekly or monthly report to send to your email address. Of course, if you want to receive those reports, you need to be user of DSS and your email address needs to be added into the DSS Pro. Once this is set up, click OK, customize the text and click Save. This is automatically saved and the marketing person will receive those data automatically to their email accounts. Thank you very much for watching.